Okay, here's an update on the little self-sufficiency efforts. These are the green bean plants. We're a month later and you can now see that these plants are beginning to set blossoms. So I'm not sure what it is, 60 days or something like that. I'll have some beans for my wife to eat who particularly loves these Blue Lake beans. These are the snap peas that were growing in the pot and um, in the next shot I'll just show you that they have grown to the top of a spike that's about between three and four feet tall. This shows how the bean vines have grown up towards the top of the spikes. You can see that my little uh, trellis sort of thing is kind of collapsed in the middle so I think this is not the best way to do this. Here's a pot where I put in some arugula plants. I got a six pack of arugula and then some marigolds. You can see that after about a month or maybe just a few weeks really, I've been able to cut a few off for a salad. I do think it's a good idea to know how to grow some of these things from seed, but I would also say that just going to a nursery and buying uh, some sets is a much faster way to get up into production. Here's a pot of mixed lettuces that I bought from the nursery. Um, you can see that um, in some places I've cut a few off of these and uh, I found that one of these was really spicy, it was like peppery, so that's pretty tasty. Here we have some more left leaf lettuce that I am beginning to harvest a little bit, a leaf at a time from each plant. You can cut the outer leaves and let the inner ones grow. Here's a pot of romaine. Did the same thing, bought a six pack and put it all around the edge of a pot that's about 12 inches or so, maybe a little bit more on the inside, run in the diameter. Here's a pot with broccoli plants in it. You can see that these are getting chewed up by something, so I did put some more um, snail, snail bait in there. It's uh, not really poisonous, it's the sluggo material. Here's another idea I talked about of sticking a few seeds into a planter hanging on the side. Uh, this one's kind of doing okay. Um, here's another idea where I took a hanging pot and put a whole bunch of snap pea seeds in them. You kind of see that they still have a tendency to grow up. There's also a concern that as they fall over the edge, the stems will actually break. So I think this is not one of the best ideas I've had. Okay, here you see a roll of chicken wire, which is what I'm going to be using to build supports for my plants. I'll make uh, two coils of this to fit the plant and I'll stack them too high and then I'll brace them on the inside with little bamboo poles to hold the contraption up. Okay, here you can see the tray that I planted with seeds. So this is at about a month and we have a few coming up. Here is one of the trays that was empty last time and what I've done now is that I've put in some uh, you know, ready-made lettuce. So this will be in production basically. I've just let it sit here for a week or two to let the root systems grow. And I want to mention that when you do these things you should pull off the bottom of the plug because they're root bound when you take them out and then uh, that will encourage them to spread roots out into the, all of the soil that you provided for them.